What up, nerds? Deadpex here. Bringing you a new segment. This is the movie review. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, I went and saw a movie, and you would expect that we would be reviewing Captain Marvel. Oh, oh you see this? Brie Larson said, no, sir. No. Brand white male. You do not review my movie. You do not do it. So, I chose to wait until the opening weekend of, um, you know, Captain Marvel to go see Alita Battle Angel. That's right. And I'm going to let you know exactly what I think. Alright. That was like my little transition there. So, um, yeah, Brie Larson said, I don't want white males reviewing my movie. There's already too many, so, all right, whatever. Alita has been out for a little bit. I did not see a lot of marketing really behind this. And, um, my phone's going off. So, uh, yeah, I didn't really see a, a lot of marketing. So I didn't really know about it, except from other people doing reviews on YouTube. So, watched the reviews. Got some good reviews. I went in, no spoilers. So, you know, there's, there's that. And, uh, I'm just going to give you, flat out, the average Joe, like myself, who's not a professional, what I thought about it. Alita has done a whopping, roughly 80 to 85 million uh, domestically since it's debuted in the U.S. That's not a lot. Um, the budget for the film was 170 million. So, if you take into account uh, marketing, which normally I would say you double um, whatever you spend on the actual movie, you double that for marketing, uh, there wasn't a lot of marketing done. So, and they, they never tell us how much they spend on marketing. So, we're going to have to assume probably like a cool $250 million is what, what was spent total. Well, uh, overseas... Since the inception of Alita Battle Angel, right, uh, it has done, I think it's like 304 million, so much better overseas. If it had done well in the U.S., you know, it, it would have easily pumped out like, I don't know, it's five, six hundred million, uh, which is a little sad because it's a great movie and I really wish uh, they had done a little bit more marketing to get the word out about it. So, uh, now, let's go into the CGI part of it. She got some big eyes. She's got anime eyes. And, uh, at first I was kind of thinking like, eh, you know, the, the CGI looks a little weird. My eyes just hadn't adjusted. Uh, it was like that for about two minutes. And then everything looked normal. Um, Alita, you know, her interactions with normal people, uh, other cyborgs and everything else, top notch, looked fantastic. So, let's get into the story now. Right? Uh, Dr. Edo, I forgot his first name, he went out and he was, you know, he's a cyborg doctor. He goes around fixing people and he goes and, uh, and I'm going to try to keep this spoiler free as well. But, I mean, by this point, it's about to probably rotate out of theaters. So, you should probably go see it. 
and help out that domestic U.S. total. So uh, he he goes around and he's just scrounging for parts to help fix other people because he he's a good heart. He he doesn't. They they even showed in a scene guys you know like uh, trying to get his fingers fixed or something and the doctor says you know that's the best I can do for right now and he said you know I'm I'm getting some overtime so I can pay you uh, after I get paid for that he goes yeah just 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 pay me when you can pay me and you know that's that's how the doctor is now the doctor has a secret. That, that he does. Uh, he does a little bit of night work. So. He. Uh, th there is a. A cyborg. Or a murderer. A killer. Going around killing women. At night. And he told Alita. You stay in young lady. I don't want you going out. But she's already seen him come back with like. Cuts and stuff. So she's like. Is he going out? Is he killing the women? Oh no. What's going on? So, uh, you know, there's that really starts ramping up the plot right there. And turns out, spoiler ish, I'm, I'm giving you time to fast forward a little bit. He is a hunter. So, he goes around and he hunts people at night uh, that do bad things. And he gets paid, and that's how he keeps his clinic open. Uh, you know, being able to, just the goodness of his heart. So. Alita, herself, she realizes that, you know, she, she doesn't have any memory of who she was. She was found in the scrapyard. He gave uh, his daughter's cyborg suit to her and you know the doctor gets attacked and so she's like wah, 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 uh, doing all the stuff that she can to help uh, protect him and she's kind of a badass not kind of she is like the definition of a female badass would be Alita battle angel I mean, come on. So, uh, she came from this floating city, dropped down with all the other garbage. So, uh, but she gets these flashes of who she was while she's fighting. So, uh, pretty cool. Uh, so you, you get to see a little bit of, like, her in, in one, like, kind of big scene where all these people are shooting and stuff and she's just going through and she's like boom boom throwing people around messing them up so fast forward a little bit more you know she's she met this boy falls in love with boy that's your love story uh, the doctor's wife you know, sees Alita's suit, and she's like, "Where'd you get that?" And you see this thing on her on her forehead, right? And you're like, "The hell is that?" They they explain that kind of later on. Um, I'm not gonna say what it is. I'll let you figure that out for yourself. But um, just. Fast forward a little bit, you know, she's beating some people up. She goes and she registers to become a hunter herself. And she goes and she goes like to the hunter bar. And she's giving this big speech and she's like, all right, who's with me? And everyone starts laughing at her. So she's like, all right, well, we do this the easy way, we do it the hard way. I'm going to fight all of you. And if I win, every person I beat is going to help me go and attack this dude who's trying to hunt me down. So, enter <laughs> a bar fight scene, which is pretty good. Doctor shows up, and he's like, what's going on here? What is going on? And then, like, the bad guy shows up, and he's like, oh, I only 
have issues with her. He doesn't have a bounty, so all the other guys are kind of like, mm -hmm. Because this dude, he got some upgrades from the last time. And, yeah. He ends up luring uh, Alita down. And, you know, they have a fight. She escapes. Um, she ends up getting a new suit. So, I mean, just overall, the story's great. Um, fight scenes are great. And the movie actually ended on a little bit of a cliffhanger. So, when it ended, my son and I, who's six, we looked at each other and we're like, what? That's it? Uh, yeah. Well, there's definitely going to be another one if they do well enough. So, And hopefully they do well enough to uh, justify making another one. And I, I know that this came from a, a manga series. So, it's like, ah, 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 ah. Great movie. Great movie. Um, I would definitely go see it over Captain Marvel any day. And you don't have to go see Captain Marvel to understand what's going to happen in the next Avengers movie. So, did you guys favor? Don't go see it. Or go see it. I don't know. Don't care. So. I'm going to say that, um, you know, this is my first movie review. Leave some comments down below. Uh, you know, you guys got any tips, tricks, whatever. And, uh. I, I think that's the little one outside the door. So, Rylan, you can come in. When are you done? Well, if you want to come in and give your uh, opinion of the movie, you, you can. Come on. You just want me to see it, Dylan? No, I want you to give an honest opinion. So, come on over there. But I don't know. Did you enjoy the movie? Yeah. Did you enjoy the fight scenes? Yeah. Uh, who's your favorite character? You know. I don't know. Who, who's your favorite? Lena. Oh. Uh, Alita? My other favorite is the big guy. Oh, the guy that she fought? Yeah, because he has horse things. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I mean... You heard it. Oh, Alright, Rylan, back up. Back up. <clears throat> so, you heard it. Six-year-old enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to give it two, two, two thumbs up? No, I give it a thousand thumbs up. Okay, a thousand thumbs up. There, there you go. <laughs> Unlimited, actually. Unlimited thumbs up. Would you go see it again? Yeah. A thousand times. You can go see it a thousand times. All right. Well, that's it. You guys have a great. Don't touch that. Hey, hey, quick. <laughs> you guys have a great day. No.